Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial you will learn the basics of Latin square design and how to carry out statistical analysis using R. A Latin square is a design in which two gradients are controlled with crossed blocks, but in each intersection there is only one treatment level. The major feature of the Latin square design is its capacity to simultaneously handle two known sources of variation among experimental units. Latin square design gives two independent blocking criteria unlike randomized complete block design that treats only one blocking criteria. Horizontal blocking is referred as row blocking and vertical blocking is referred as column blocking. This type of two-directional blocking is accomplished by ensuring that each treatment appears only once in each row block and in each column block. This method measures estimated variation among row and column block to considerably reduce from experimental error. Latin square design can be used in following conditions. Field trials where fertility gradient exists in two directions perpendicular to each other, or has a unidirectional fertility gradient but also has residual effects from previous trials. Insecticide field trials where the insect migration has a predictable direction that is perpendicular to the dominant fertility gradient of the experimental field. Greenhouse trials in which the experimental pots are arranged in straight line perpendicular to the glass or screen walls, such that the difference among rows of pots and the distance from the glass wall are expected to be the two major sources of variability among the experimental pots. Laboratory trials with replication over time, such that the difference among experimental units conducted at the same time and among those conducted over time constitute the two known sources of variability. Useful in animal nutrition studies. As in nutrition trials on dairy cattle, only a few cows may be available for financial reasons. Latin square design has following restrictions. The requirement of Latin square design that all treatment appears only once in each row and column block also becomes a major restriction. The experiment becomes impractical if the number of treatment is very large because of large number of replications required. On the other hand if the number of treatment is small, the degree of freedom associated with experimental error becomes too small for the error to be reliably estimated. In agricultural experiments where the land requirement is rigid then the actual layout in the field is laborious and approach to the central plots becomes difficult. Due to these restrictions the Latin square design is practically being used in experiments only where the number of treatments is not less than 4 and not greater than 8. Despite of its great potential for controlling experimental error this design is not being used widely in agricultural experiments. If there are missing observations in the experiment then the analysis becomes complicated. Before carrying out an experiment, the design should be randomized with the restriction that each treatment occurs once within each row and once within each column. First you need to randomize the order of the row, then the order of the column and finally assign treatments. For this purpose draw a square with letters in alphabetical order. Randomize the order of rows using random numbers. According to the ranked order of rows, the fourth row is placed first, third row is placed second, first row is placed third and second row is placed fourth. Now randomize the columns. According to the random numbers the ranked order for columns is 2, 3, 1, and 4. So the second column is placed as first, third column is placed as second, first column is placed as third and fourth column is placed as fourth. Now the turn is to randomly assign treatments. First assign treatments to the letters according to the random numbers. According to the random numbers the treatments rank is 1, 4, 3, and 2. Now we shall proceed with an example for analysis of Latin square design using R. Suppose we have a data which is obtained from experimental area that has two directional gradient in fertility of the soil. The data shows yield of four varieties of wheat arranged in a 4x4 four four Latin square design. To do analysis first you need to import data in R. I often use some functions before proceeding for analysis that is useful to see how the data is being read by R program. By using head function you can see the data frame for the first six rows. Use str or structure function that will tell the format for each column in the data frame. It gives information whether the variables are being read as character, number, integer, or factor. 
In this example the row, column, and treatment factors are being read as number and character. You can change it to factor by using as dot factor function. By using again the structure function you will see the treatment variables have changed from character to factor. Now proceed with analysis of variance for Latin square design. For this assign analysis as linear model function where yield is separated by the sum of factors as row, column, and varieties and then type the name of data file. Now use ANOVA function to get the analysis of variance information. The ANOVA table represent that there is significant variation in yield due to varieties and highly significant variation due to column blocking. This information does not identify the specific pairs or groups of varieties that differed. For example, the F-test is not able to answer the question of whether every one of the three varieties gave significantly higher yield than that of the check variety or whether there is significant difference among the three varieties. To answer these questions you should go for mean comparison tests. This will require library agricoli. For least significant difference test use lsd.test function and in parenthesis provide model information, treatment variable, and type Boneferroni for P adjustment argument. For 2 key HSD test use previous command and replace LSD with HSD and use true for group and console argument. In main you can type title. If you want to perform Duncan multiple range test then in previous command replace Duncan with LSD. If you want to plot bar graphs then also watch the suggested videos for which the link is given in the description.